All right, ladies and gentlemen, Patreon members, you guys got one week and one week only, starting today to get our brand new shirt, our brand new shot glasses. They're on sale, number six with cheese.com. Regular folks, you should be paying us money. Yeah, there's a little password for you Patreon people, so you'll know where to go get that merch. Uh, and sizes will sell out. Uh, today we're going to KFC. Uh, nine different cities in the US are uh, testing out the KFC chicken sandwich. Uh, it's $4, it's exactly the same price as Popeyes. This is KFC throwing their hat in the ring. Chicago's got it. There's one location in Chicago right now that has it. We're headed to it, at least on the north side. Uh, we'll see you soon. Alright, Sixers, we got them. Two of the $3.99 KFC chicken sandwiches acquired jump cut. Alright, guys, um, it's a Corey Wagner second angle. Alright, got this cute little coin purse that comes in. Let's open it up, see what we got. And boom, chicken sandwich. A little bit of bun action, and there's some sort of sauce, and there's a big old crispy, crispy boy. That literally looks looks like the finger ripping chicken they got. Or yeah, Popeyes, got. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. So there you go. It's a little misformed, but hey. I don't care. Yeah. All right, guys. KFC chicken sandwich. Uh, let us know if you got it in your town. It's nine cities. Look it up. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. That was tasty and delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the spices. It's got it's that KFC chicken's always got those like herbs on it. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spicy mayo. Yeah, this is the most slam dunk of all time. Mm -hmm. What'd you have to do? Buy buns. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude. You like you chicken well. What the hell? You know what I mean? Like, of course this is great. Oh, yeah. These are so good. Like, pickles, mayonnaise, bun, and chicken. Everyone's doing the same ingredients. You make great chicken. Boom, done. This is so good. Is it better than Popeye's, you think? I remember orgasming everywhere, like, about that sandwich. So, like, I think until I see them side by side, if that's ever a scenario I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say yes or no. Right. Do you have an inkling? No, this is really good, but it's you like a little bit different. It's like unique because those herbs. So I, I don't mm -hmm. know if I, I'm the same as you. Yeah. I need them side by side. It feels like there's more tanginess to this one. Like the spicy mayo, I think on this one is better than Popeye spicy mm. mayo. Wow, their pickles are good. I'm not even a pickle dude. That was one of the um, improvements I saw in the advertisement that their pickles are supposed to be better on this sandwich than their old one. I didn't even know that, and I noticed that. In the no. Mm -mm. Out of the no, because I didn't know. That's a really good point. I misspoke. <laughs> If you're keeping track at home about the amount of time Sean has misspoken on the show, go ahead and tally another, what is that, 766? Wow. Mm. This is so good, bro. Yeah, this is really good. It does everything right. It's cheap. Chicken is double breaded, by the way. Apparently. Which I love. The bun is super soft. It doesn't get, it can withstand all the sharpness of the chicken. And the pickles are great. Everything about this is just, a sl like you said, a slam dunk, dude. You know basketball references, then you get it. You see Harden? Mm-hmm. NBA dude. That dude's been eating some chicken sandwiches, bro. That fat. He's bro. been poking, apparently. He's a big boy. I saw him on World Star today. Yeah. Get roasted by a uh, announcer. <laughs> he said, and there's Hart. He was like doing the warm up line. And there's Harden coming out of the court. Uh, he definitely had a pregame meal. And the, the, oh the other announcer goes, bro, stop. <laughs> stop. James Harden definitely had a pregame meal, averaging 17 points per game over hey, the last chill four. Chill um, I was dying. Mm. Yeah, this is probably first or second best. Absolutely. I think it's better than all the others. Yep. I would love to do a side by side. You know, like I said, if for some reason the world calls for that. Yeah, it's really good stuff, man. For you guys wondering at home, if you live in like, you know, Tuscaloosa and you don't have this yet, they're doing a national rollout starting in February, so this is very soon. We were also one of the first cities to get the Popeyes one. Remember we did oh, it? We were? We, we did yeah, it right. way before yep. everybody. And then we were like, oh, we thought everybody had that. Chicago's like the uh, um, almost almost equivalent to the, the Patreon of the nation. Just mm -hmm. like our Patreon members get these new super fire shirts. Mm -hmm. Pizza box rip, no big deal. Designed by our friend Tim Lichty, which I think some Patreon, some Discord members popped on and watched. They sure did. Like Courtney Basinger, I think mm -hmm. maybe was on there. Tim has also been a $25 Patreon of number six with cheese forever. Has donated so much money to the show. Yeah, so it was very can. nice being able to give back to him. Because mm -hmm. that dude has given to us much. And he helped us with our 420 show. Yeah, that's right. 
And then we also have shot glasses, so you can get yeah, this bro. and you can spill your shot all over this. Mm -hmm. And the way that this shirt's set up, it'll just roll right off, dude. Yep. Yeah. Clean. I don't know, with me it feels like it'll drop off. Yours it probably will roll. It'll it'll kind of sit. <laughs> it'll sit right here. <laughs> yeah, my shot's right there. I, you know what? That's good. Yeah, you can soak it back up, dude. Wow. You're doing, you're doing self belly shots. <laughs> SP SPSs? That looked like I just tried to suck my own dick. Did and you notice that? I know. I, I saw like, it on the. Uh, what, just, what do they call this? The LCD screen. I mm -hmm. saw it on there, and it looked kind of vile. Yeah. All right. Um. Wow, that was so good. Dude. That was tasty. Huh. Here, do this. We didn't eat hardly at all day. Do that, and then go get it. And it's like you're eating while you're high. Yeah. And if you're yeah. dead, it's marijuana, bro. You. Do. Anyways, uh, before we go ahead and rate that sandwich, let's do a shout out. Pilot shout out. Pilot shout out. Pilot shout out. This is our last, our final, our number one pilot going on the air. Shanty Town, ladies and gentlemen, my pride and joy. Tonight, 7:30 Central, 8:30 Eastern. Another time in another time zone, but I don't care about the rest. Google it. Go check it out. We've done our first two pilot readings on there. They're all saved on our YouTube channel. You can watch them all. The first one has like over a thousand views. The second one's creeping up on that as of today. Um, they're super fun. They're super awesome. We'd appreciate you've come support. And and this one has some really, really great comedians part of it, so it's gonna be, oh, also, we're doing giveaways. Sweetwater sent us a bunch of gear, and we've been doing giveaways. We're like, we have a lot of really cool shirts, uh, keychains, and koozies, and sunglasses, and hats from mm -hmm. Sweetwater. So if you want some Sweetwater gear, just pop on, watch that video, comment what I tell you to comment on that video, and then you can uh, maybe do, uh, get, a, get a victory. Our buddy Jason Jones won the first uh, poll, so, um, yeah, that's that's all the information you need. If you want any more, suck it or go on the Facebook <laughs> event page and you can you can possibly get more information there. I'll say this real quick. If you've already watched one or both of them and you're thinking, you know what, I get the gist of it. This is the script to not miss. This is like, yeah, this Shantytown is, is gonna be become your new religion in your mind. I saved the best for last on purpose. Yeah, that's how it should be done. This one's the truth. Yeah, this is like, and this is the, the finale of the three pilot uh, season that we ran. Yep, yep. So definitely come by, it's gonna be a silly goose time. That's right. All right, moment of truth. $4 chicken sandwich, brand new from KFC, out of five, um, just like wooden huts. Um, like little shanties. How many wooden huts do you give the $4 KFC chicken sandwich? Uh, we're at the corner of California and Irving Park if you wanna know where it's available right now. Corey, take it away. Um, that was amazing, dude. The That double breaded, you said it was double breaded. Double it was breaded. Like definitely very crunchy, I could tell that. I liked all the, the like that, if you've had KFC chicken, you know like the type of like, I don't know what it is, herbs, peppers, something in that that they put inside their, um, their like, uh, what would you call their, that? their coating? Yeah, it's because isn't that like even in their branding, it's like the special herbs and seasonings is like, is written into the tagline, but like, I think it's in the, it'd have to be the breading. The breading, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you mix it all in a bowl. So, I mean, that, that stuff came through, that made it uh, really tasty. Um, the sauce, I didn't really notice it that much, but I'm sure it was good. I think it was just more overpowered by the chicken taste. Mm. So, all in all, it's probably one of the, in my opinion, probably one of the top two chicken sandwiches in the game. Um, I hope that all that information helped you decide on whether or not you should get one. I'm gonna rate that a, uh, I'm gonna give that a 4.9. <laughs> Only because Popeyes, I think, might be better. I think it and is. I have to do it side by side. I don't know, you guys get it. Same price, like I said in the beginning, they did this on purpose. They made it $4 on purpose. The old chicken sandwich was way more expensive. Oh, that's funny. So they clearly did this to compete with Popeyes. KFC is like the mecca of fast food fried chicken. Like, right. they have to be in this conversation. Shame on you for not being. You're, you're here. Right. You're in, but, I'm pretty sure KFC's, is, I'm pretty sure Popeye's is bigger. Oh, the sandwich is bigger? I'm I can pretty see sure I, it's, I it's a bigger boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going 4.75. Yep, that's respectable. I'm, you you need to go get this. Like, and if you're somebody who likes KFC and you live in a town that, it, like, mark it on your calendars, dude. They even have a website where you can click notify me when it's available at my KFC. They thought of everything. That's the single fattest thing you could do yeah. in 2000. And look how excited I am about it. Corey, <laughs> I notify <laughs> my KFC down the street. Oh, I think a lot of the people watching amazing. this though will really appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, please don't be offended by my fat person <laughs> joke, but you are a fat, fat man. <laughs> Three things you should be getting though, it's for real though. That chicken sandwich. Yep. That awesome uh, baseball shirt with the pizza box rip thing on there. Yeah, three-fourth length, dude. And then a shot glass, mm -hmm. a number six with cheese shot glass. Get them, love them, live them. And then in that moment, you become woke. Oh, yeah. To to what? YouTube fast food reviews. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, tomorrow, I guess we'll go to your place next. Cause yeah, it's on the, yeah. Uh, tell them where we're going. Yoshi's Cafe uh, Wagyu Beef, to double Wagyu Beef uh, Smashed Burger. Yeah, dude. It's about, I noticed this, it's about 
the same price as that uh, that frozen patty trash. Yeah, burger. Blue Door Kitchen. Blue Door Kitchen. I think it's like 18, 19. I think it's eighteen dollars, which is on the high end. But mm -hmm. we are talking about Wagyu beef. I think they massage those guys or something. Yeah, huh? and it's from Japan. Just from Japan. And I was I was starting to say this on social media. I didn't check with you first, so go ahead and smack me down if you'd like. Mm -hmm. When people are like, quit with all these twenty dollars burgers, dude. We're kind of like on a quest to try every damn burger in the city. Yeah, we're just looking for the best. Whatever that cost is, we're willing to sacrifice so that you guys can know who's the uh, posers, Blue Door Kitchen, whatever your guys' dumb name is. And Garden. And uh, who, who who's the legit, true kings who's sitting on the burger throne of Chicago. If that means we gotta spend 20 bucks, that means we just gotta spend 40 bucks. We're willing to do that for you because that's how much we love you guys. Yeah. And there's one way you can pay us back. Uh, sign up for our Patreon and then buy our merch early. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's technically just two ways to pay us Go back. get the damn merch right now. Seriously, there's only like 35 of these shirts, dude. Yeah, if that is crazy. you wanna be one of those people that weighed it, you get it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Yoshi's Cafe, very excited. Goodbye. There's a password if you're on Patreon. You use the password to buy the stuff. I'm not stuff. telling you. Unless you're Patreon. It's on Patreon. Go look at it. Patreon. You get it. Bye.